In a study done by the Department of Education, black children make up 18% of the preschool population, but represent almost half of all out-of-school suspensions. Basically, while a misbehaving white toddler might get time out, a black toddler is more likely to get sent home and have disciplinary action on their record. What does that say to you? Before I even get into what does it say to me, I just want to talk more about your imaging. So you're using these pictures. You got a picture of the white teacher and then you're trying to like make it seem as if it's a white teacher that's intentionally targeting the black student to get more suspensions and whatnot. And then you have the picture of the the white male child that's getting time out. You're making it seem as if black kids and white kids have the same rate of disciplinary problems, but that's just not the truth. The truth is that black kids have more of a disciplinary problem than white kids. That's just what it is. And you say 18% of the population of preschool is black or people of color, whatever you want to say. And there are 50% of all disciplinary actions. Well, those same trends carry on into adulthood. You got 13% of the population of the United States responsible for over half of all the murder in the United States. So who do you think is having these children and who's raising them? Some of the same people that go out there and commit a lot of the violent crime that people get locked up for all the time. It's not that blacks were getting unfairly targeted. It's just that we are committing a higher proportion of the crime. It's just as simple as that. So when you say, what does it say to me? All it says is that a lot of these crime stats are true. And for you to say that it's a white teacher that's like biased against a black student. How do you know that black students always have white teachers and that's the only time that they get suspended? You know, I mean, look at Detroit. Detroit is a pure hellhole and most of the teachers are black there. So how can you sit there and say that it's the white teachers that are to blame? But I digress. Let's move on. For journalists who investigate these kinds of stats, they reach the conclusion that these suspensions are tied to teacher bias. In other words, teachers are more likely to see black children as threats to their classroom rather than just kids being kids. I mean, kids being kids are not going to just, you know, there's OK, you got kids and they're going to be kids. They're going to be energetic. They're going to be happy, right? And everything else. But there's a certain level that you cross that it goes into disciplinary problems. It's just that simple. You can't just say, oh, you know, little man, man is acting up. He's just being a little boy. No, he's acting up. And the thing about it is, if it's about white people, if that's like the main thing you want to focus on, whites, 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 whites. If you have white men on the brain disease, I think the whole white people excuse is just a way for you to justify yourself feeling inferior. You even use the people of color term. I talked about that earlier. People of color ain't nothing but colored people backwards with an of in the middle. But I digress.